We're covering the basics of the Brother PE800 embroidery machine. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. If you're new here, consider subscribing and tap the bell to be notified about all new videos. I'm going to be doing more videos on this machine, the Brother PE800. This is an embroidery only machine and I've had it for about six months, so I thought I would do a video explaining some of the basics of this machine from threading the needle to changing out thread, winding the bobbin, hooping, and also going over some of the touch screen features. So if you're interested in this embroidery machine or you have it and you're not sure what to do with it, hopefully this video helps you. And stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna share my honest thoughts on this embroidery machine and whether or not you should buy it. This is one of Brother's latest embroidery machine models. It's an upgrade to the very popular PE770. It has 138 built-in designs and seven English fonts. There's a good amount of workspace for you underneath the throat, and we're gonna take a look at the on-off switch. There's also a power cord on the side. There is a USB port also, so you can import your own designs. You're not just limited to what's on the machine. Included in the box, you get some of the standard accessories like a seam ripper, small screwdriver for making adjustments, extra bobbins, you always need extra bobbins. It even comes with a thread net to help keep those metallic or delicate threads at bay so that they don't come unraveled. Let's go over accessories. I love air soluble markers, curved scissors, applique scissors, check these out, extra needles, ballpoint, and an extra set of embroidery hoops. So the color touchscreen is one of the best parts, in my opinion, of the Brother PE800. You can really do a lot with the designs. It's got many included. You can choose a hoop size so it tells you which designs will fit within that hoop. You can actually do a lot of editing in the machine without even needing embroidery software. You can merge designs, you can move things around, and I just wanted to show you some of the functions so you can get a feel for what it's like using this model. The touch screen is really easy to use and I appreciate that everything's in full color so you can really see the designs come to life. And I gotta say, a lot of the designs that were included are actually very usable and appealing to me. So I've stitched out several projects and designs just from the machine without doing anything else. And I've used the fonts, they stitch out nicely. So all in all, there are seven usable English fonts here. And you can really customize your display in here. You can change how the frame looks. You can move things around. I was playing around in here and I was pretty impressed with how many options there are and all of the menus. It's really helpful to be able to see those different views of the frames. You can see it centered, you can get a grid display, just so you can help line everything up, which I think is fantastic. Another menu option lets you change how the colors will show up to you, whether it be a number or the color. Some of the popular brands of embroidery thread are already input into the machine so that you know which color corresponds to which number. And you can even change the maximum embroidery stitching speed, which I slowed down a little bit. The default was a little bit fast for me. You can also change whether you want things to show up in millimeters or in inches. One big reason why I did go for the PE800 over say a model like the 770 was the upgrade with the touch screen and menu options and customization. I really like that you can do so much in machine designing without really needing to go elsewhere. You can change your tension, you can do all sorts of stuff. And embarrassingly, I only realized you could change the needle position to up down while I was shooting this. So even I am discovering new features all the time. It also tells you how many stitches this machine has done. And I've done quite a bit so far. This machine does have memory, so you can design things in the machine and you can save them here as well. You can also import your own designs or designs you've purchased on a USB drive. And I've done that quite a lot. This is my little CNN flash drive from when I worked there. And I've got tons of stuff on it, mostly stuff I've gotten from Etsy or embroiderydesigns.com. 
So here I am going through all of my designs. I've done some monograms. I've gotten some really cute appliques. I've even had some logos digitized for myself and for friends. As an example, let's do the sewing report logo, which I had digitized. So here's what it looks like. You can move the design up or down within the hoop. You can increase or decrease the size of your design. You can even change the density of the stitches. There are just so many options that you can do right there in the machine. You can rotate the design, which works really well if you have an item that you want to hoop in a different direction, you can do that. Just so many different things. The possibilities are really endless with the Brother PE800 and I'm such a fan. So that's why I wanted to do this video was just to walk you through some of the basic functions so you could get familiar with it. And if you don't own this machine or you're just curious about it, you can see what it's like. Let's wind the bobbin. First, I'm putting it on the spool pin, getting a spool cap on there, and I'm showing you exactly what to do, how to put it through the thread guides. So for winding the bobbin, you want to put it through one and two, and then there's a little color-coded guide on the tension disc there, and you just run it through like I'm doing here. Pull the thread through the hole in the bobbin, put it on the bobbin holder there, push it to the right, and you are ready to start winding and the light will turn yellow when it's ready to wind the bobbin thread. Just wait a second until that's done. Now we're going to put the bobbin in the bobbin case. That bobbin's getting a little bit low. So you slide it in so that the thread is winding around counterclockwise. Then you pull it through those guides there. And that last step in that thread guide actually cuts it as well and then just put the cover back on. Moving on to actually threading the needle, you're going to use a slightly different path for your thread. And I'm showing you this up close and personal, so hopefully this helps. Put it through one and two, and then put it through this guide here. Down and to the left, there's a little hook within the machine nested in there and you're going to need to catch your thread on it before pulling it down. There's another thread guide right above the needle. Make sure your needle is in the highest position possible. Pull it through this auto thread cutter guide, push the lever down and it automatically threads the needle for you. And what I tell you, those curved scissors are great for helping you pull that thread through. Now let's hoop some fabric. We're gonna put a layer of stabilizer down and then our fabric, and I've got a whole video on stabilizers if you guys wanna check that out. Make sure the fabric is taut and then turn that little screw there. Check the back to make sure your fabric is taut and then push that little lever and that will lock your hoop in place and you are ready to start embroidering. And after a few stitches, I always like to go in and just continue to trim threads as I am stitching this design out. Time to change colors, so we're gonna need to switch out the thread spools. Make sure your presser foot is up so there's no tension. Gently guide the thread out. And just as we did earlier, you're going to put your new thread on the spool pin and then re-thread the machine, just like you did the first time. And that's how you switch out your thread colors. It takes a little bit of time, but you get used to it. And now I'm finishing up this design. So those are some of the basics and a brief overview of the Brother PE800 embroider machine. I also would encourage you to definitely take a look at the operation manual. I know this model doesn't have a lot of videos online about it, so that's why I wanted to make some. But the manual can be helpful for certain troubleshooting and certain aspects. Do I recommend purchasing this embroider machine? You bet. Honestly, I have very few complaints so far. The operation has been very smooth. I've had very few hiccups. I honestly can't really think of anything big that I don't like about this machine. I think the price is very reasonable for an embroidery machine. This almost seems like a mid-level machine. It's got a five by seven inch hoop, but the price is still around currently $600 US, which I think is great because I've seen embroidery machines go in the thousands. And if you're like, eh, I don't know if I need an embroidery machine. I didn't really think I needed one either. And I was wondering what I was gonna do with it. But the longer I have this, the more reasons I'm finding to use it. 
I really enjoy having this in the arsenal and I'm really glad I decided to purchase this. I had been on the fence for quite a while, but when I saw Brother had upgraded the PE770, I thought the features on this were definitely upgraded enough to the point where I was willing to purchase it. And this actually isn't my first rodeo with a Brother sewing machine. We previously had a Brother SE400, which is a combination sewing and embroidery machine. But for some reason, I just didn't feel as comfortable using that embroidery unit as I do this one. This one is really easy to use. And as I mentioned before, I really like having an embroidery only machine because I don't have to switch out the units. This is ready to go all the time and it's very easy to use. Even if you've never used an embroidery machine or even a sewing machine for that matter in your entire life, I don't think it would take too long for you to get acclimated to the Brother PE800. And before you know it, you're gonna be embroidering everything under the sun. So on a scale of one to 10, I would give this embroidery machine a solid nine. Honestly, I really like it. I think it's easy to use. It's got a lot of features and the hoop size is large enough that you can do a lot of different types of projects. So brother, kudos to you because you've created a really great product and I'm a huge fan. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this look at the Brother PE800. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, and I may do yet another Frequently Asked Questions video. And be sure to check out my whole series on this embroidery machine because I've done quite a few videos on it already. I'm Jennifer Moore for The Sewing Report, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.